Jeez, I need, I need a sauna here. I need it. Oh! Guys, 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 and girls. Finally, after a long journey, we have been offered a deal for Australia's summer. Pakistan will be touring Australia, and they want us in the test squad. Huge! Hi. I wanted to have a quick chat with you before you go out there. Are you nervous? It's okay to be. This is a huge step in your career. Just remember that you're on this squad for a reason, all right? You deserve to be here. Take a good, deep breath. Drink in the atmosphere. Then get out there and show the world why you were given that hat. Listen up, everyone. We've got new blood joining the team today. You'll all remember how that felt. So let's make it easy for him. We've got a big job to get done right now. And the new blood is going to help us get there. Of course, you'll all know how he plays already. I think most of you will have played with or against him in domestic I competition. I mean, this is the wrong team, so but give him like, a warm welcome to the sure. team. I'm supposed to be being welcomed into the Australian team. At least that's Marcus Harris. At least someone who's a recognizable face. Who's this guy? Oh my god, oh my god. We're a fringe member of the Australian team. It was the test tour, right, that we were being selected for, not the T20s. Bloody hell. Anyway, I am spewing, though, that the cutscenes sometimes are like, that they have the wrong teams. It just, like, it would be so much better if they actually, you know, had the right team load in. Like, if the Australian team there were there to welcome me, that would have been so much better. <sighs> Huge. Anyway, a big T20 game today with the news that we're getting a call-up for Pakistan touring Australia later on in the year. Been selected in the squad. We're a fringe member of the side. And now I've just got to get through a, a T20 game here, which we're playing in whites. Oh, no, this is a first-class game. Oh, I forgot about that. So this... Is like, here we go, mate. Prove that you're not bad. And there's Manus at the other end. One of your teammates now. Oh. Sorry, Man. I'm going to do my best to get you out here. Put it over. It's a mate. Oh, I was going to say it's a maiden, but this bloke here is just not fielded it well enough. Come on, mate. I'm going to I'm gonna beat you to it. Beat you to it. Ball's end. Now wrong end. <laughs> Through to the keepers then. Never mind. So in yesterday's video, we obviously spoke about a lot of our goals. What do we want to do when we play, you know, for Australia? Uh, what we want to achieve, obviously. Uh, World Cups, Ashes wins, donning the baggy green, which hopefully we are very not far away from now that we've been given the call up for that Pakistan tour. That's runs. But... Uh, yeah, huge opportunities with the bat. Getting our first ton would be big. Getting our first sort of five-wicket haul would be big. Oh. Oh, that's a and then eventually becoming the captain. But now that we, it is almost a reality and we're in the squad, we just want to play our role as best we possibly can. Get this Australian side to the position we know it should be. Oh. Fourth from the over, one for 95. Oh, there's a man out there. Oh, get underneath it. You had a bit more time. Gee, I reckon that could have been out. Oh, yes. The shoey strikes. Rain gold goes. Just a little bit of extra air time on this ball. And it finds its way to short leg. Oh, that was that beating the edge and the stumps. Two for one fifteen. Oh! Inside edge, onto the pad, didn't go in the air. Catch! Yeah, what a take! That's the end of Manus. You'd be filthy if this is how you get out. But number eight, what a dive. 
Labashane just trying to work it to the onside. Got a little bit onto the pad. And with no room for mistakes, Hammond found the catch. Laters Marne. Three for one, 28. Wait on. Whew. So I managed to break both set batsmen in the previous partnership here. Oh, that is well bowled. Catch it! Oh, oh, how close was that? I think it was sliding down. Wasn't by much, according to Ross. Pitching in line, was it turning back in? Impact was in line, or umpire's call. Wickets were umpire's call as well, so could have been given out. Wait. Quite easily. Jeez, if this is another dot, this is for three maidens in a row. And he's done it. Three maidens in a row off my bowling. Very, very good stuff. Surely I am not far off another wicket. Oh, that's got to be out. It turned back a long way. Oh, Ross. I thought this was far closer than the previous one. Oh, just impact outside off. Wow. That one's out. He's walking, he knows. He knows, and it's given. Jeez, it was very close. I've bowled 20 dot balls in a row now. Deserved a wicket. Oh, this one might have been turning too much, actually. It almost looks like it was missing leg stump. No, it would have clipped it. It would have clipped it. Billy Root out for 14. Four for 168. Joe Cook in next. 22 dot balls in a row. I think that 23. 24. Four maidens in a row. And we've got another wicket. The amount of quality in my bowling today has been absurd. The batsman's inability to get me away off this... Oh, catch it! Catch it! Oh! Jeez, it would have been another one. Absolutely spewing there. Breaks our run of 26 consecutive dot balls. And it was almost another wicket. It was a little inside edge onto the pad. Or a top edge onto the pad from the sweep shot. It almost granted more reward. That's out! Four for 170. 169, sorry. Five for 169. And I've got four wickets. Jeez, it didn't turn enough, but there was an edge. It turned the rest of the way onto the stumps. This is what happens. The confidence from the call-up to play for Australia and what it's done for my game. Four for 20 from 13 overs. Not only am I going at a rate of about one point something, like under two and over. It's also been the line that I've been bowling. It's just, oh, get him. Oh, mate. Mate, you gotta be quicker than that. You have got to be quicker than that. Oh, this is out. There's a man straight underneath it. It is, hit it, do him. Get my fifth, five for 22. And the lower order continue to depart. This one just straight down the throat of Shaw in the deep. He's the bloke who kept, who kept misfielding at mid off all those times. Number five, he's done something. Eight for 227. Oh, oh, oh. Catch it! Yeah. Another one. He's got six. And I think one more would be our best bowling figures. I've never bowled so well in my first class yeah. career. Seven for 22 from 16.2 overs. Only two shoeys in there, I think. The rest, lovely. Simple as you like. Seven for 22. All that for 231. Bowling figures, 16.2 overs, 7 for 22, 8 maidens, and an economy of 1.35. You can't ask for anything more. Now with the bat, 
Three for one twenty-two. Yes. Off the mark. Yeah, yeah. Another one. I really like this stadium. Actually, it's a very nice stadium. Can anyone inform me what it's called? Ah, oh, the scorecard can. Sophia Gardens. I wonder if it's just a game made one or if it's a real place. Yes. A little bit slower there from Rain Gold. Thought about the second, just settle for one. Now, one other point I'll just touch on here quickly. Um, I know a couple of weeks ago I said oh, well I was talking about the big 11 mode. I have not played a single game of that yet. Uh, I, I genuinely have not had the time to be able to do it, but hopefully um, over the next week or so, I'll see if I can find a game and, and see how I can go in it. Um, but I've not played a single one yet. Um, how have you guys been finding it? Has it been good? Has it been not so good? I'm sure it'll be hard to find a game because most people who play this game do play um, the offline experience, the career modes and the likes. Yes, nice ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and this will be a couple more. Very square field. That is probably the longest boundary out here. So it will only just be the two though. But we could have turned for a third. It's quite a small ground, this. It's actually quite big boundary square and deep on the leg side on this end of the field. It looks quite long. Yes, That's an outside bowling. edge. So well bowled there, but we'll get away with a boundary. So all of a sudden, the 290 odd that Lamorgan made in the first innings, what did they make, 220? It's looking like a pretty good score. Here I am just trying to go about my business at a, a nice leisurely pace. But it doesn't look like that's going to be something I'll be able to do. Oh, and I've nicked off. So that is disappointing. Spinner gets another. Just trying to create something that I probably wouldn't have if we weren't seven down. Eight for one, five, three. At 15. And more struggles. You look at our one, a couple of golden ducks. There was a 79 there from Hammond. But outside of that, no one else above. 30 runs uh, outside of Marcus Harris. Like, that's just what put me on the back foot. It was just oh, the nice inability play. to have another batsman with me. Oh, I mean, I had to create oh. something. Because I had been leaving that ball outside off pretty much all morning up Wait. until that point. Ah! It's not... Far off. I know he took a big stride, he got outside the line, but it just wasn't super far away. Wait on it. Oh. I made in the beginning. Oh, Pick up where I left off. Edged! Yes! Yeah. Taken! Gave it a bit more air time, enticed the drive, and a really, really good catch there at slip. Oh, have a look at number 15, diving to the left. It's Dent. One for 32. Jeez, I tell you what, the bowling in this match yep. for me has been second to none. It has been very, very, very good. Manus hits me for four off his first ball. I'd expect nothing less from the best batsman in the world at the moment. Wait. Catch it! Oh, we almost had him early. Oh, that's close. Oh. Jeez, end of the session. I do want to look at this ball again, though. Like, because if it straightens enough, it's probably out. Ah, it's going down. Oh, there's a man out there. And he's got it. Interesting shot choice, I think. From Root, he's just hauled out to the deep. It's the only fielder out there. And he somehow found it straight down his throat about a good five metres in from the boundary. The team Strange one. decisions. Four for 120. 20. Catch it! Yes! Manus goes. Five down now. Two wickets in two overs. That number eight man, he's going to get you Hammond. Five for 120. Dot, wicket, dot. Way to start the over. Oh, that's plum. It's 
It's pretty close. Oh, I didn't turn back enough. I'm just gonna give him a few tempters outside off stump. Oh, oh nice ball. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Catch it! Yes! Oh, you love to see it. Couple balls into the new session. This is second over of it. And I deliver. With a breakthrough wicket. Sorry that the microphone was so far away from me then. My bad, everyone. My bad. Marcus Harris with a nice catch. 6 for 1, 6 5. Can we make it? Another one. Oh, straight away. Got the edge. Like, this is a very good backup innings with the ball to my 7 for 22 in the first innings. Like, that was nuts. Whereas here I'm going at what, 3? Just over 3 and over now. Comparatively. So I would love to get a second five wicket haul in the match. Oh, that is a beauty. But I've already got 11 wickets to my name with the ball in this innings. Or in this uh, match, sorry. Not in this innings. Another over gone. This one was a maiden. 7 for 179. I wonder if I can get that one to turn in. That's really flighted up there. That one's swept away. Just going to be the one. We have had a couple of them uh, sort of haul out in the deep out there. Catch it, somebody, anybody. <laughs> I don't think any of the fielders even bothered. Oh, now they're going to run. It's four. Oh, and now a proper edge. And that's four as well. Jeez, this bloke is all around it. And another edge. Bloody hell. Only one of these is going to be the wicket ball. Catch it, somebody. There was plenty of bat on it. Woo! Four edges in a row. Finally, you've got the catch. There's the second five wicket haul for the match. Just a top edge. Easy as you like for Bracey. Eight for 191. Oh, how has he kept that out? I thought he stepped across and was going to hit the stumps. This is a pie. Oh, the pie almost got a wicket. Actually, was just wide. It wasn't. Right there. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, look, what is that? What is that? That is real stupidity. So we've got 13 wickets to our name across the two innings. It's It's been absurd with the ball. We might end up with 14 yet. 7 for 22 in the first, currently 6 for 60 in the second. I've just got one ball here at Nisa. Hopefully he nicks it. Catch! Was it taken? Did it carry? Yes, it did. So the secondary slip does the job. Number 29 over there. He's gone to cut it away. It's just ballooned in the air and it does carry. Another seven wickets. Seven for 69 from 20 overs. 14 for the match. Unreal. All out for 234. Glamorgan, very similar to their first innings total of 231. Seven for 69 I took compared to my seven for 62 in the first innings. Jeez, we really need something here in the second uh, innings just from our batsmen. Did nothing in the first innings and it really... Put us on the back foot. 300 is what we're chasing. It's three for 120. As I make my way to the middle. Oh, runs. Again, I just... I try to hit this ball to the onside and it always seems to go to the offside. But it's four. And we're four down as well. So we lost a wicket in this over. Wait on. Oh, it does find the gap. The fielder thought he was in the game for a moment. But never really was. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, back pass the ball a lot. There'll be a couple. No, just one, actually. Just the one. Oh, I didn't mean to go in the air. But it won't matter because it's six. So we're halfway through the chase. Four wickets down. It means that this partnership probably needs to get the bulk of the runs. 
And you'd say they'd probably need, we, like, we'd probably need to get another 50... 50 to 80 more runs out of this pair. Oh, I think I've got outside the line. It was close. And I've done well to get outside the line here because that is moving in a significant amount. Oh. Jeez, I've been undone here. It's just moving so late. But there's not a lot that can be done. Out for 25 for 154. Absolutely spewing. And we're all out for 225. Glamorgan winning by 80 runs in the end. I mean, 14 wickets does give me player of the game honours, but geez, I tell you what, that ball was moving a lot. A lot. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. We're going to come back. More T20 Slam stuff coming up next. But amazing, we've been selected for Australia and what a performance with the ball we've been able to do to earn that spot. Anyway, that's it everyone. I will see you all later. We will continue with some T20 Slam stuff. Huge movements in this episode.